creating YouTube, along that line that I did recently with the pet peeve, I was looking at some photos recently on Tumblr. And one of the things about photos that you see online, whether it's on Instagram or Tumblr or Twitter or anywhere, is that sometimes the photographer fails to identify the subject. Now, if you're taking, you know, nature shots, I don't expect you to, like, give me the, the, the scientific name of whatever animal, animal or plant you're looking at. But it might be nice if you told me where it was. Okay? I would like some kind of identifying feature. If you're taking a crowd shot, I don't need to know the names of the people in the crowd shot. But again, time and place, that would be cool. I apologize for that sound. The wind is blowing my fan. Um, it's very windy today. But if someone is taking a specific picture of a person, I don't just want the photographer's name. Yes, the photo could be art. I do not question that photos can be art. Okay, I own, I have owned a number of photos in my collection. I mean, like things on the walls and stuff, which are art. They are photos, um, and I don't question that. My uncle was a photographer, and he made art. Uh, but also, he did pictures of drag races and things as well. But I want to know who the person is. And specifically, I'm talking about models. And it seems that it doesn't matter if the photographer is a man or a woman. But when people are photographing folks in a boudoir style or an erotic style or just straight up a pornographic style... A lot of the times they will just identify the photographer. And that, to me, really dehumanizes the subject. Even if it is perfectly, you know, uh, shot and it's, the pop composition is absolutely excellent and it's stunning. Um, you know, they really make the most of what they're working with. They, they are able to evoke a particular mood or, 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 or feeling or, or, or uh convey a context that they're trying to get across, even if all that is there, if they don't identify the model, it bugs the crap out of me. I feel it's dehumanizing. You are reducing that person to that animal in the wildlife. You are putting the photographer in front of the subject. And now, the photographer is the one doing the composition and the lighting and all that stuff. I get it. But that model is a human being, whether it's man or woman. And I believe that they should get the respect they deserve of at least being named. Now, if they don't want to be named, that's completely different. All right? But there are lots of people out there who do this as a living. That's what they do. They are, they are you know, risque or nude models. That's how they make a buck. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You do you. Um, but if they know the name of the person, and the person is okay with that, and again, lots of professional models are, give the name. Show some respect. It's, it just bugs me. I know it's a pet peeve, but it, to me this goes a little bit beyond a pet peeve because I feel that it is cheapening another human being turning them into nothing but a subject. And that's that's meaning to me. And it bugs me. So, what do you feel about photographic attribution? Do you feel that the subject should have their name given, if they are comfortable with that, of course? Um, or do you think that it, the artist needs to be pride of place? Let's talk about photographs of art and are the subjects people.